Hi guys, today I will be talking about premarital counseling and why is premarital counseling so important and why was it not given importance till recent times. Basically in our country the concept of marriage was mostly like from the time that we remember is like when elders see the appropriate groom and they fix it up and then uh, initially like what I remember is my three or four generations prior to my birth they were not even asked the girl and the groom were not even asked that whether whether uh, they like the particular person or you know they find that person you know good enough as a partner uh, after which the parents started um, fixing up the match and uh, it was formality sake that the you know they would make the the girl the bride and the groom see each other and mostly it was on the groom's demand the bride was never taken into consideration and later on i think during during uh, my era that is around three through three four decades ago then the the bride and the groom that is a girl and the boy was supposed to meet and they were supposed to exchange a few words here and there and they decided to get married so this was typically arranged marriage scenario that i'm talking about love marriage never had any of these uh, formalities mostly when it was uh, outrightly objected they would run away and get married or uh, you know they would uh, get married in secret and then really later whatever and otherwise they would convince the parents and you know they had to they had no choice but to get the two people married in any of the cases both the cases rather what is not spoken about is what causes most of the problems so what is not spoken about most of the things that are not spoken about are the finances you know we all feel that see the thing is when in arranged marriage especially when somebody is fixing up a match they definitely see that whether the other father especially the groom's side is financially well off or no that's there in the mind but to speak about finance people hesitate they don't want to speak about that because they feel oh we will we will look very materialistic if we talk about finance but it's anyways you know a thought so we, we cannot escape that thought we cannot deny that we do not think about marriage uh, we do not think about finance in marriages so finance is a very important topic then why not speak about it outrightly right nowadays uh, maybe from the uh bride's side the financial status is not maybe not given importance but the bride who's earning or the woman who's earning who's who's capable enough in earning a great amount of money is definitely taken into consideration right so what's the big harm in talking about finance it's a big major part you know in how the entire life is going to be uh taken care of so it's a practical thing okay uh apart from that also there are legal aspects to a lot of things like say when we purchase assets or when you know the the existing assets so legally how are we going to be uh, distributing it or legally who is going to be the you know the owner the next owner or the nomination part etc so the legal aspects to certain things also now they go for prenups you know where they are kind of prepared that if it doesn't work out then you know what's going to take place legally so uh, that's another issue i'm going to pick it up right now but that's also one of the okay things to do i don't say it's quite we can't deny we cannot say that we cannot say that it's something which is not supposed to happen i think it's quite okay also there are things like children and uh, there are things like how many children okay children's education okay who if both the partners are earning who will take up what financial responsibility okay in case of unexpected conditions so what is going to be the you know the outcome like you know the, the rough preparation so see uh, some some of the some of the people might be in a risky job a job which can involve like say somebody who's in who's an army or who's uh, you know in a in a profession wherein uh, they can probably are putting their life into danger so in that case what like you know uh, how are you going to handle in that case of course you get you know there is reimbursements and there are there are pensions there is a regular income but still to put up with a partner like that today this generation do not have that kind of uh, endurance so how about those kind of conditions also if you are a single child or you know if you are expected to take care of your parents especially from a bride's end so from a girl's end so those things so there are many things you know which need to be spoken about 
also emotionally there are turbulences which are going to come in life later right now things are all very rosy very pink in uh, color because you know it's all about love you like everything about each other because both of you are making each other feel completely fabulous but moment you start pointing out somebody's faults you know moment you start putting up your expectations this is when the other person starts get you know starts taking an offense and that is when they start feeling that okay i am not wrong why is she trying to make me feel bad or why is he trying to make me feel bad so here you know you have to understand that you are getting into a into a partnership you are getting into a relationship where you both might have to might have to you know let go of ego a lot of times if you want to really uh, carry out this partnership for a longer period of time so this is a very important element when it comes to these kind of things so i i strongly suggest that you know even when two people are in courtship but moment you think of getting married please go and seek premarital counseling why because premarital counseling not only helps you in understanding the aspects that you have not thought about but also certain things which were there in your mind but probably you were hesitant in speaking because you were afraid that the courtship might you know it it might bring about a bitterness in your relationship but don't you think that bitterness in relationship is better right now if you can get rectified then get you carrying on the relationship when you are when you are spending a lot more days with that particular person and then the bitterness coming out because once it is there in your thought even if it's a very feeble thought there are high chances that's going to come out in one way or the other because then after you get married there are a lot of other things also which are going to pile up on that so do not hesitate to bring about any point that you have in your mind sometimes uh, some people today especially men feel that you know if we say something it might sound like oh hum you know hum log male dominate their domination dikha rahe hain so is avi avi sounding like an mcp so those things also might have a huge effect on uh, the relationship or the girl who know who might suddenly start thinking bad about you but you know you see this these things a counselor can help you with because when you talk these things in front of the counselor the counselor can probably help you understand that see maybe you have seen your father who was maybe not working or helping out your mother or maybe you have seen uh, other people in your family or community not helping out but now they your mothers were also homemakers they also had time to do things but now you are marrying a girl who is an equal professional who is going to spend equal amount of time in office so you cannot have those kind of reservations that i will not be helping out or i have not i have never done this work so i will not help with the laundry or i will not help with you know purchasing of groceries so you know these things can be sorted out in the beginning itself in the beginning when you you know you go to the counselor itself rather than you know when you practically step into life and things becoming easy see things can become you know it can be even different later on the woman would voluntarily do lot of things might not expect but it's better to get it sorted right then it should not come like okay why would i want to do work because my parents have never my father has never done any work so it's not about a man thinking like i cannot do work because it's against my ego but maybe because his nurturing was not like that and for this particular small reason you cannot let go of this nice chap you know who is really a good guy who who didn't know probably how to contribute equally even physically into the household chores so these things are very important this can be these can be sorted out correct so this is one very very important reason i feel you know people that you should go for premarital counseling in indian scenario because it's very important to get these you know issues sorted before you get married yeah so with any other questions that you have kindly kindly get in touch with me i'll definitely try and help you thank you so much for listening to me if you like this kindly subscribe share uh, like the video also also please subscribe to my uh, another channel psycho spiritual strength thank you so much